Hey, Don here. Okay, so my little uh, side splash from a sink is uh, looking okay. This is the back side. I went ahead and just sprayed it. Uh, kind of, well, because I could, I had to mix at least four ounces of, of gel coat in order to uh, have enough for the spray to pick it up. But this is all I really was needing to, where I cut it off. That's the only thing that actually needed, you know, coating. And uh, what it did is I mask off the front side, the whole thing. And then uh, I ran it right up to the edge of where I sanded it and uh, sprayed it. And it's looking good and smooth. It's still a little tacky, and that's just yesterday, so that's pretty good. I think I got my mix better this time. It's pretty tricky getting that stuff mixed right. You really, you gotta, you know, goes by the temperature, and uh, and they say the ideal temperature is between 60 and 77 degrees, and it was uh, 60, 70. It was 70 uh, right before I came out to start doing it, so. Let's see, this will be the bottom side here. That's the radius that goes up into the roll of the roll of the roll top. There is a little bitty I didn't see it. I don't I just don't see that good anymore, so and but it shows up when I sprayed it. A little um, turned into a little dimple in the finish, but I'm not gonna worry about it. If I can show it or not. But uh, it's right there. It was, uh, this stuff is real porous and it has lots of holes in it. And uh, oddly enough, I don't see any on the back. But uh, back's a little more, not as smooth looking. Well, I was running out of, I barely got any on there. I was running out of coat. I'll leave it like that to dry because I was always worried it was going to fall anyway the other way so let me see if I set it. Now it just makes it harder to see. So anyway leave it like that to dry. Oh if you don't want it like that you might try to my tape uh, well it, it was already kind of stuck to the box. Anyway we have this side is it's, it's trying remarkably well for just uh, I got done in about six yesterday evening and it's I don't know, about 9 or 10 in the morning, next day. So that's the way it's supposed to dry. So that's a encouraging. There's a bee coming to see me. But, uh, and my, my scrap piece that I'm cut off from my big one that's in the back. Hey, it's drying too. Well, it should, I mean, same mix. I got, I, my paint gun was dripping like crazy. Couldn't even see where I had the camera in paint gun was dripping like crazy and uh, I didn't and it dripped you see all those drip marks all over my steel it dripped right on it and so then I just got up close and sprayed at it I knew if I touched it it'd really make a mess out of it so I'm just thinking I just uh, the only reason I keep spraying on it well I used it to start with you know as a test see if it was going to spray and um, there's my sheets that I printed out with all the instructions on how to mix it up. <laughs> and um, this is, again, this is um, Seahawk Gel Coat ISO PNG Series. This is Snow White NG, uh, NPG 8115. That's the color number. Oh, you can actually show it, I think. So you have to uh, clean it with acetone. It's a real good cleaner for it. It works good. It cleans up the gun. That stuff is takes three times, ten times longer to clean your gun than it does to mix it and spray it. But you thin it with that styrene resin thinner. And that junk was $21 or $23. Gel coat was $26 something. Maybe a little tax in there. So, uh, not a cheap enterprise to get into. Uh, we might get, well, I don't know. I looked and looked. I didn't see it. You really don't find, I couldn't find that thinner locally. The Seahawk, I might have went to, 
I don't know, maybe a boat store, maybe if I had a, but you know, time you drive 10, uh, 30 miles, or 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 miles even to find it, and then spending all that gas and time, I'd rather just order it. But, um, yeah, I think it's going to work out okay. I guess where I had it was the only way to be able to see it before. A little spray booth I made out of a box worked out pretty good for the the bigger piece in this. And uh, we always order paper towels and toilet paper and stuff from Wally World, and so got, get a lot of big boxes. We throw most of them away. But I save some here and there. And that scrap piece in the back there was what I cut off of the the back actual backsplash that I made to correct my measurement errors, which I didn't notice till I was completely finished building and finishing with a uh, fleck of varathane finish in the cabinet with varathane finish and it was just about dry when I realized it so I didn't want to cut that cabinet down because I, I finished every in inch of it back front everything to uh, keep water from ruining it like that's what happened to the last one that I built this set of cabinets about 15 years ago and the, 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 the uh, water got to them water got behind you know it gets behind it and get I didn't keep up with the caulking because my health gets down a lot and I don't always get to do my projects. Of course, here comes the jet. But, uh, anyway, so that's how it got ruined. But the uh, left, the linen's on the left and it's two piece. So the bottom linen I uh, refaced and put a right side end on it. Redid the vanity completely and then the top one we, it just, re we just refinished it. My brother actually helped me. I did it last year, and I never was up to getting it finished. And then in the summer, he he got out here and finished did the finish work and um, got them back and put them back in and everything. And then uh, so I've been trying to do the extra little details here and there. So that's it. All right. Maybe uh, when I get it back in, I'll probably this one I'll make another report. Can't, can't really work and, uh, you know, like show doing it. Can't really work and I can't, of course, and it can't hold the camera, but the, uh, even if I put it on a little tripod or something, um, well, with people in the house and everything, they think you're crazy making a video. So, anyway, and it takes three times longer to video something than to just do it. So, it's done. Bye.